Hey everybody, this is Mr. Awesome. I'm doing a single player campaign walkthrough of Worms Reloaded. Now, I can honestly tell you, I do not remember the last Worms game I have owned. However, I found it to be pretty cheap on Steam. I uh, wanted to work in a little bit of my YouTube commentary ball dropping experiences uh, on it. So that I can, you know, train myself up for bigger and better things. Now, first of all, I, I love this part. Look at this. Look at this dumb shit. I'm going to blow you up with some dynamite. I don't give a fuck. Look at this thing. Boom. Dynamite is probably my favorite weapon of this game. Simply because its blast radius is large and it does a crap load of damage. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, uh, back to the point. When I was younger, I used to love playing tanks. The original tanks. Which later became worms. And I used to play that shit all the time. Auto shop, high school, junior high, all that. And it was fun. So when this came out on Steam, I figured, you know. Why not? Anyways. So, uh, what are we doing here? I'm gonna go. Oh, I love this part too. This is a really bad place for the uh, enemies here. But anyways, I'm gonna put on my little headband and do a little DBZ moment and Kamehameha the way this bitch. Look at this. You can call Dragon Ball. I gotta love that, man. Gotta love that. <laughs> Name's Goku, bitch. Well, anyways, as you can see, it's pretty easy so far. Um, campaign number one put up zero challenge. Yeah. And I found out that even on the standard difficulty, it does not get challenging, ladies and gentlemen. This actually stays relatively pretty easy through the first 20 levels. After that, yeah, it does pick up a little bit more, but yeah, you know, I kind of wished it would pick up a little sooner. But this is not a hard game. I kind of wish it was. Maybe I'll turn the difficulty up, but whatever. Anyways, so I'm gonna dynamite that bitch. I fucking hate him. Biff. I don't know what that means. Well, whatever. <coughs> so I'm just gonna show you what I did level by level. In case you're curious. And in case you suck. At worms. Like that guy. <laughs> just like that guy. What am I going to do here? Okay, so I'm going to put on my jetpack and I'm going to fly over simply because I don't want to waste time. I do not want to miss because that's going to make me really mad. I want to get up in his face, cause a lot of damage, and get the hell out. And I think right now, what do I do? I throw a little grenade on his ass, literally. Dummy. I don't think that was enough to kill him, though. No. So he'll be alive. Right. He'll probably be up next, too. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I didn't know it. Um, so, in short, Moz is Mr. Awesome's. Um, I kind of. I, I, I wasn't really a big fan of that name, but someone in my clan called me and it's kind of stuck, so. That's a little backstory as to why it's called the Moz. It's short for Mr. Awesome, so. And now we're going into campaign number three. And these are just little puzzles. Quite frankly, I wish there were more of them. I wish they weren't as easy as this one is right now. Um, I did not just figure this out on my own. Literally, you can't move. You can't jump. All you can do is plant that bomb on your face. And get butt right by the next one. And voila, you win. I think I'll let him speak for himself when it says it's too easy. So, this one's a little bit longer of a battle simply because it's a hard no. But because there's more enemies. I got a guy named Burger, which I'm about to Twinkie on his face. I don't even know what that means, but Twinkie on his face sounds kind of cool. Mm, I want a Twinkie. Uh, here we go. So, I want to take out uh, my Bazooka, which is a standard infinite ammoed weapon. 
and try and make that guy land in the water, which I did not do very well. Oh well, not worried about it. That's right. And I don't know what he's going to do. Ugh. Kills me when they do this. I wish there was a speed up button. That's that's what this game needs. So when you're playing against a computer, speed it up. I don't need to see this guy crawling all the way across to get into my face to plant a bomb and then run. I mean, really? You couldn't you just trust. Why did they choose that weapon? Anyways, that's just me a little, little ranting a little bit. Need to speed this game up a little bit more just to uh, do that. Add a little button. Let me hold it down. Fast forward. Whatever. Ooh, speaking of fast forwarding, uh, I have just, again, just started editing my videos here. Um, I'm using the Vegas Pro 9.0. Um, this is where I need a little help. Is there a, I'm, I know there's a way. I've seen it done before. I don't know how to do it, but maybe someone can give me a tutorial or, or link me to a tutorial on here on YouTube on how to... Basically, take my videos, fast forward them in segments because I am doing it wrong. <laughs> Seriously, I shrunk a small section, and next thing you know, my audio was talking like a goddamn chipmunk. So, I definitely need a little bit of help there. I would definitely, definitely appreciate that. Um, I don't have much to offer other than a big thank you, maybe a shout out. Definitely give you a shout out. Uh, mention your your page, perhaps. Um. But yeah, I, I, I definitely need a little bit more more help getting a hang of this editing thing. Um, I, I want to bring you the best quality videos. I want to talk my shit, but I really want to bring you good quality videos. Something that you're going to be entertained with. That you're going to want to watch. And editing plays a big part of that, so I'm done with that now. <clears throat> so I'm going to fly over and I'm going to fail right here. Look at that. Pfft. I cut my... I cut my jetpack off because I thought, hey, yes, I'm going in good trajectory. I want to get there quick, lay the bomb. Oops. Yes, Apparently, if you fall from too high, it causes damage, and I forgot that. And I caused myself, what, one damage? Completely lost my turn. Put myself in a very shit situation. Uh, typically that's okay with me because I can get myself out of them, but in a game like this, where it's almost like a chess move, can't get away with a whole lot. For, uh, you know, fortunately these are just early levels and I'm sure a baby monkey could figure out how to beat these mon these damn worms. So it's not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, so I'm going to blow him up, sacrifice myself. Don't really care. Increase the time a little bit. And boom. Eh, not too bad. Well, this video is coming up to a close here. Uh, thanks for watching my first video. I'm going to definitely be working on my own game. I love some comments in my comment section to maybe give me some tips. See what you like. See what you don't like. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching.